Hmm. Double, half, double, half, double, half. Yeah. Oh, hey, didn't see you come in. I was just thinking about different multiplication strategies. It's normal, right? I'd like to share one with you today called the double and half strategy. Basically, the rule is this. When you are multiplying two numbers, you can double one of them and find half of the other. The product of these two numbers is the same as the original problem. For example, if I'm multiplying 5 times 8, which I bet you know the answer to already, I could instead solve 10 times 4. 5 doubled is 10, so that's where that number came from. And the 4 is there because it's half of 8. So, 5 times 8 will have the same product as 10 times 4. We doubled one number and halved the other. Now you might be thinking, but both of those multiplication problems are so easy. Why would I bother doubling and halving? And to that I would say, what if we were trying to solve a more difficult problem such as 32 times 25? This one is a bit harder, but I do notice that I could easily find half of one of those numbers and then double the other. 32 I can cut in half to 16, and the double of 25 is 50. So now I could solve 16 times 50, and I know that I would have the same answer as 32 times 25. Now here's where this strategy gets really useful. 16 times 50 might not be that much easier to solve than 32 times 25, but there's nothing stopping me from doing it again. I know that half of 16 is 8, and if I double 50 I would get 100. So now I can solve 8 times 100 instead of 32 times 25. I don't know about you, but that's a much easier problem to solve. It's 800. Here are some tips on using this strategy. Number one, remember that you're not going to use this to solve every multiplication problem. Number two, you should use it when you can quickly and easily double one number and find half of the other. If you feel like you suddenly have to start using the standard algorithm to double or halve one of the numbers, don't even bother. Just use a different strategy. And finally, number three, don't forget, try doing it more than once. Being able to double and half is a great way to see relationships between numbers. You could use something like the standard algorithm to solve every single multiplication problem. But a strategy like doubling and halving can sometimes be much faster, and there are even less chances of you making a mistake. So be on the lookout for problems where you could use this strategy. I'm going to include a link in the description below that has a worksheet where you can explore the strategy a little bit more. I hope this helps.